Hey, what's up guys? Mike Locke here. Hope all is well. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video blog. Three tips, three words of advice, three things that I want to touch on that will hopefully get you closer towards reaching your web design goals for 2013. The first one being you have to identify what you want to be when you grow up. You remember when you were a little kid and people would ask you what you want to be when you grow up. Same with designers. No matter what age you are, you can be 50 years old, you can be 35, 25, 20, 19, whatever it is, identify where you see yourself, what do you see yourself doing in the web design world? Because right now, when I'm answering emails from people that I get on a daily basis, as you know, I, I train web design through my training course. I get about 20 to 30 emails on a daily basis, either through members or new folks coming in. And uh, they're asking me questions and it's, it's, a lot of them are overwhelmed. A lot of people are overwhelmed because web design is such a huge, um, I guess, huge category and people are trying to learn PHP, and JavaScript, they're struggling with design and all that stuff. Don't think of it. You want to simplify web design as much as you can. Identify the one niche area that you want to go in and perfect that. I talked about this in a uh, past video, but I just want to reiterate the importance of that. So you have to, I say, uh, identify what it is, what you want to be when you grow up. If you can answer that question, if you can answer that question, what it is exactly that you want to do, then all you will have all the right questions to ask um, that will help you get closer towards reaching um, that particular goal. Okay, so identify what it is you want to be when you grow up. Think about that question, answer that question, go into a room over the next few weeks, over the holiday break, Christmas break, New Year's break, or whatever, and answer those questions, and um, you'll get closer towards reaching um, your, your goals for 2013. Um, the second one, stop wasting time, folks. Too many people are wasting time, in my opinion, on social networking sites. I talked about this also in the past, but I want to reiterate this. This is a coming, you know, down to, to New Year's coming up, and I want to reiterate some of the things that I touched on in the past, but stop wasting time. Too many folks are wasting time on, on uh, social networking sites, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, whatever it may be. You're wasting time. That energy that you're wasting on those social networking sites can be focused towards thinking of new ideas on how you can help grow your career or get closer towards reaching your career goals. Okay? One example. I cut out Facebook a few years back. It was the best thing ever because what it did... Um, although I was addicted to Facebook because these social networking sites are addicting because you wait for people's comments, you want to post something, you want to look at people's comments on your post and reply and like, all that stuff. Anyway, when I cut that out, it made me focus on eventually launching my web design training course, which eventually led to a new revenue stream for my family, which led to a better life in 2013, 2012 financially, and so forth. So you know cutting something out you're looking at your life today and looking at some of the things that you do that waste time you need to you need to focus in on that and really um uh i guess nip that in the butt per se for 2013 so that's the second one stop wasting time the last one is you got to work hard folks everyone um, needs to work hard towards reaching their goals there's no excuses no one's going to do it for you um, right now, my eyes are probably tired, or looks a little tired because I'm going on a few hours sleep over the last several days. Um, a lot of people ask me, how, Mike, how do you do everything? How do you do these blogs? How do you do your web design training course? How do you maintain your website? How do you maintain a full-time job? In addition to keeping a, you know, a happy family, yes, I have a wife, I have two kids, I have a six-year-old, I have a three-year-old. My family takes up 99.9% percent of my time. I'm not kidding guys. That's exact. They take up everything. Right now my wife is coming back from a party with my, my six year old. Uh, my, my three year old is downstairs watching cartoons. I'm sitting here shooting this video because there's a little narrow time that I have before you know I'm interrupted. So uh, that's how it was for me launching my web design training course or doing any sort of freelance work or whatnot. I have to do that stuff after hours because my son is constantly with me. My wife is constantly with me. Um, we got another party to go to after I shoot this. And so life is busy. 
and I have a full-time job. I'm busy from like seven or eight o'clock in the morning to like um, 6 p.m., 6.30 or so um, in the evening. And so with my full-time job at CBS and no one's going to do any of this stuff for you. You have to do it yourself. Look in the mirror and say, you know what? Am I wasting time? Am I watching too much sports? Am I watching too much football? Am I, you know, wasting time on, um, on, on Facebook where I could be focusing in on my portfolio or whatnot? That's what you got to do, guys. So, number one, figure out what you want to be when you grow up. Number two, stop wasting time. And the third one is work hard at achieving those goals, okay? Hard work. It took me over a year and a half. Think about this. Over a year and a half to launch my web design training course. Nipping it at about an hour and a half, two hours a night. Dead tired, eyes bloodshot red, you know, recording these little tutorials and videos. Over a year and a half, I told people that I was gonna be coming out with this, okay? I just slowly chipped away at it and I eventually got done, okay? Once you get done, you can reap those benefits, take a little break, and then go forth with it. All right. Hopefully these tips um, sort of resonate with you, and you can take these and uh, take some nuggets from this and uh, start, start going forward towards reaching your goals and uh, do some good things. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.